Um, my name is Mitra Johari, and I am so excited to be here tonight for a million reasons. Um, but I'm mostly really excited to be here because I actually just moved to Los Angeles, California from New York City. <laughs> Yeah, it is so exciting to be here. I moved here for a really unique reason. Uh, I decided to be the first person in recorded human history to simultaneously pursue both writing and performing. So, yeah. Um, and, you know, people have a lot of reasons why they're interested in pursuing acting and the arts in general. And I actually chose to do it because of a beautiful quote that I will share with you tonight uh, from William Shakespeare. <laughs> which is the stage. All the world is, is it. <laughs> and for those of you, you know, I don't want to be exclusionary to our crowd who is not in the arts. Uh, William Shakespeare, uh, she. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, it's 2019. Don't you think it's about time we had a female William Shakespeare? Yeah, <laughs> she is the writer, director, and star of the Saw movies. <laughs> and she's also me, mom. <laughs> but I'm actually not on the show to do comedy tonight. Uh, I'm here, <laughs> ha ha. Um, <laughs> I'm here because I am looking for a roommate here in Los Angeles. I'm having a really hard time finding a roommate uh, because of a recent diagnosis. Um, I just found out I have a medically fucking bad personality. So <laughs> my family and I are not in a good place, but I've decided to forge forward with my bad career and pursue the arts. So I just want to come out of the show with a roommate. So no pressure, but here are a few fun facts about me so you can make an informed decision on whether or not you want to live with me. First of all, I think it goes without saying, pussy hat slay, I'm a feminist. <laughs> Yeah, I believe women should have the right to vote. And if you disagree with me, the exit is that way. Unless you look like anyone I've ever dated, in which case I'll suck your dick right off your body. <laughs> For the rest of our lives, until one of us dies and I will be the one who dies first because I will internalize both of our anxieties without acknowledgement or complaint. <laughs> I mean, I'm not one of those lame feminists, right, ladies? You know what I'm talking about, guys in the house? I'm not a lame feminist, right? I'm a guy's girl. I'm a total guy's girl. I'm a guy's girl. I'm a guy's girl. <laughs> I'm a guy's girl, I'm a guy's girl. It's easier for me to talk to guys than girls. It's easier to talk to guys than girls. Um, <laughs> they're not like other girls, you know what I mean? They're not like other girls, I'm not like other girls. I'm not like other girls because like, I fucking suck. <laughs> I'm not coming here ill-equipped, you know? I went to the New York Piss School of Shit. Uh, <laughs> where I studied performing arts. I majored in eating ass for the camera. And I minored in co-opting queer narratives for my own profit. And I think it's really important to keep your instrument alive. So now that I've moved here, I have started taking improv classes. Uh, for those of you in the crowd who don't know what improv is, it's that thing where 47 identical, six foot tall, cis straight white men crowd around one very small woman, screaming non sequiturs for 30 minutes straight and all try to fuck her after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm an old soul. Obviously, um, I love like black lace gloves. <laughs> and like random music, like the Beatleys. <laughs> and I'm obviously an empath. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay, somebody on this side of the room is sad. <laughs> 
And if you notice anything kind of interesting about me, I actually just recently finished a study abroad in Britain. I had a one hour long layover in London. So if I slip into the accent, that's why. <laughs> I learned so much there. Uh, right now, I'm actually crashing on my 58-year-old boyfriend, uh, his couch. So uh, I'm not sleeping in the bed with him, but I, I'm staying with him. He resents me because I turned 19. It's really fun being his girlfriend. He is a director. <laughs> Um, he sort of uh, specializes in black and white movies. And if you're not like in the industry, you probably don't know that black and white is code for auteur, which is a term that is industry speak for rapist. <laughs> and he's not here tonight, which is okay. He's actually in rehab uh, because he's addicted to hamburgers. <laughs> But it's really important for me to have him in my life because I'm actually sort of damaged goods. <laughs> I've been married six times before. Uh, husband number one divorced me in seconds because he thought he was marrying my twin. <laughs> husband number two divorced me in seconds because he was my twin. <laughs> husband number three, <laughs> this one's on me, beach wedding, swept out to sea, sad. Husband number four, Jimmy Fallon's biggest fan. <laughs> Husband number five, also my fault, he was a horse. So things didn't work out, but not for the reasons you'd think. <laughs> Husband number six, TBD. <laughs> Just kidding, my holes haven't been filled in a really long time. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. This girl's BF probably dumps his scalding hot stinky seed into her all the time. But the answer is no. I mean, my uterus is so fucking empty right now, I'm basically using it as a purse. <laughs> and honey, you know I'm keeping breath mints in there. <laughs> Fresh breath, cause you never know who you're gonna kiss on the dick. <laughs> so I wrote that. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I think I've pretty much made my case. If you guys want to live with me, please form a queue outside. And that is British for line. Uh, my name is Mitra Johari. Goodbye. <laughs>